Hi Flosstube, it's Diane. Um, I'm doing this video at night because I tried to do it many times this today, but my kids kept interrupting, so it's okay. Uh, it'll be clear. Um, it's been a really long week this week because I've had sick kids, and um, but now they're better, finally. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, you know, stomach bug is just, it stinks. Especially when you have a large family and you never know who's going to get hit next. It's And then several rounds with with different children. But why I'm here in this video is in October of 2014 I began doing floss tube videos. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought, oh, 100 people might watch it, maybe. But uh, more people have watched than 100 and have subscribed than 100 and thank you. And so in honor of the year on FlossTube, I, I was very surprised how much I enjoy doing these videos. Um, you know, I always look forward to making them and, oh, I gotta say that and I have to think that and do this and do that. I, it, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So, um, I do plan on making more videos. <laughs> I'm not quitting making videos. Lord willing, but I decided that in honor of the year on FlossTube, um, I'm going to have a giveaway. And so that's what this video is about, is my giveaway. So what are the prizes? There are three prizes. I'm going to walk through them and then walk through how you could enter. Prize number one. It's a pattern package. Uh, just Cross Stitch Magazine, October 2015. Um, I do not I don't do Halloween. I don't stitch Halloween. We don't celebrate Halloween. Uh, personal choice. When I bought this magazine, I thought, well, okay, there's there's Halloween on, on the cover and over here, but I'm sure that there there must be harvest stuff in here. When I quick glanced at it, I saw like this pattern here, and I thought, well, there must be other fall projects. And the reality is, most of them are Halloween. I did not find anything in here I would really, really want to stitch, so I would prefer that somebody receive it and, and hopefully they find something they'd want to stitch. I didn't move my camera, so I'm trying to figure out where to look, so forgive me on that. Um, also, Just Cross Stitch Magazine, August 2015. Again, I just didn't find any projects in this magazine I would want to stitch, so I'm going to uh, put that as part of my giveaway. Also, Lavender and Lace, number 48, Firefly Fairies. Now, this kind of splotch area, um, that's all on the fabric, and at the time that this was made, um, all the beautiful hand dyes weren't as readily available as they are now, from like Under the Sea Fabrics, Chromatic Alchemy, Picture This Plus, etc. So you can get this effect without having to bleach your fabric or do anything with your fabric. You can buy fine fabric to get this effect. So you have the three fairies, kind of like Sleeping Beauty of Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. That's how I think of them. Um, this has been open, as you can tell, and I did put little tick marks on the DMC list to indicate which ones I had and didn't have, but I never stitched this. I mean, the, the paper is stiff and, and everything like a brand new pattern. So this is an excellent, excellent condition. Uh, no marks, besides my little tick marks, no marks in the pattern. And while I don't usually mark my patterns, I, I will mark the middle, and um, I didn't on this one. The last part is World Peace Angel Lav uh, Lavender and Lace number 51. This one, you could see it's in the original packaging. There, It's in excellent condition. And again, while Lavender and Lace is my favorite all-time designer, um, I have stitched a number of her patterns. I still have a number of her patterns to stitch. Uh, Angel of Love, Angel of Ice, Angel of the Sea. Uh, oh, there's... I still have a stack of them. So, this is just one. You know, I'd have to live 583 years before I could stitch this one. And as it is right now, I'll still have to live 300 years to stitch all the ones I have. So that is prize package number one. The pattern package. <clears throat> um, last, I think November or December, I showed what I found to store my credit because that had been a major pain in the neck for me for years. 
I had used just a regular floss box, but then they lay sideways and you have to take them all out every time and, and the little labels with handling will fall off and it just, I wanted something better. So I did a little research and this is what I found, an ammo box. Um, and I actually have three of these. So I have, this one's all my number four Krennic. This one's my blending filaments. You see how they, they're in there? Um, you can pull your spools out and pop them back in, no issues. In this one I have number eight, number twelve, one sixteenth braid, cable, cord, and ombre. The only ones that don't fit in here are the number sixteen medium braid because the spool is just too big. So if I had a whole bunch of these I would find a, a bigger ammo container, but I only have two, so I just throw them in the head space. These snap shut, and should for any reason they get tipped over, they go right back in the slot. You don't have to reorganize them every time. And if you want to use the one right in the middle, the other ones stay put. Other thread uh, organizers, if you pulled one out of the middle, then you could knock half of them down and you have to set them all back up, or they would hold bigger spools for embroidery machines and sewing machines and other arts. So when I found these, I shared it on my video and um, thinking, well, people should be able to find something like this or maybe even this exact one. Uh, people, Some people did find some at Plano, uh, through Midway, through um, Bass Pro, maybe even Gander Mountain or Mills Fleet. Uh, and this label's mine, by the way. It's from my label maker. Just saying. Um, but a number of people could not find anything like this. And I tried. I gave you every number, every size, every dimension. I gave you the link, because Cabela's has these in smoke and green and maybe even another color. Um, it was You had to scroll down the link to find the clear ones. But I really like the clear ones. And I felt really bad. Because when you find something and you want to share it with a community like this, you want it to be, first of all, these are very affordable. You want it to be available and easy for people to find, and people just couldn't find them. So prize number two are two ammo boxes. Each ammo box holds 50 spools. So you may say, oh, I don't have that many. Now, I have been uh, using metallics for 20 years. That's why I have so many. Because some projects you use about this much, and other projects you use a whole spool. <clears throat> um, I, one thing I thought of is, okay, you have one for storage and one for your current projects. Whatever. You have room to grow with these. They also have um, ones that hold 25, but I got the ones that hold 50. So you get two of these, and that is prize number two. I looked online to see um, any customs issues with sending these. And as long as they're empty, although I might put a little piece of foam in the lid, um, I'll see if I need to or not. As long as these are empty, it should be able to be shipped anywhere in the world. And this is the Cabela's one. And it's 414 Clear WSM50RD Single Ammo Box. It's the Cabela's brand. And it's 400317. 986408. That is the barcode. So if you're still trying to look for these and you're in the States, it, it might be easier to get them from Cabela's. I have no idea the size, etc., um, on any other brand, but you can find something similar. Essentially, you're looking for um, Winchester Short Mag. Um, that's the size of of slot because they do make them a little bigger and even some smaller ones but prize number two is you get two of these boxes and no I'm not going to send you this one <laughs> you have to put your own goodies in there so that's prize number two prize number three is the tiny container bead storage tray this is the one that the lovely array showed and many, many, many of us floss tubers are so glad that she showed this. Oh, I've been looking for years for something like this. I've tried 
so many different beading systems. This one is wonderful. I actually have two. One is completely full and one has a couple columns. Again, I've been beading for 20 years, which is why I have so many. But um, let me show you what you get. So I'm going to actually open the box. So I've had to do this video a couple times. One of the seals is a little looser than the other. So you get the box. And inside the box is your bead tray. Oh, this makes a nice gift box if you need something for Christmas. It's a really nice size. I did that last year. It comes in this foamy paper stuff, kind of wrapped for protection. And then you have the, the container and the lid snaps. It hooks on so it's not loose. Um, and the lid, the lid is actually clear. Right now it has the, the foamy stuff. So you take that off if you want. You could leave it in if you want a little more protection on your beads. That's up to you. You get two sheets of these removable labels. And they go on top of the little containers. Actually, they go this direction because of the cutout. And then you get uh, six rows of 13 of the little bead containers. Uh, one thing that people have noticed, while they won't slide this way, if you take one out, they will slide down. Oops, you can see that. I'm sorry. Again, I'm figuring out where my camera is. If you take one out, they do slide down. So, But if you're laying it flat like I do when I'm pulling my beads out, that's great. And these containers, so you take whatever container you need, you open it, Lift the lid, take your beads out, put your beads back in, whatever. It snaps shut. And then the label goes on here. And I'll pull one of mine so you can see how I labeled mine. You don't have to label it like I did. I just want to show you. Um, so this says MH00081 Glass Seed Bead because that's the type. Uh, with Mill Hill, these are all Mill Hill. With Mill Hill, 3000s are... Antique seed beads, 40,000 are the petite seed beads, 60,000 are the frosted, and um, like the 2000s down are just the regular size 11. Plus, I also have in my other box, actually, not this one, um, like my number 8s, my number 10s, those other bigger sizes that are called for in some Mirabilias and some uh, well, lavender and lace usually has just the petites or the regular. A Mirabilias can use, um, I think they call them pebble beads, size 10, size 8, I want to say size 6 on one of my projects. My first Mirabilia was Christmas Elegance, and I think it was used in there. So this is how I label mine. Now, I like the fact that they come with labels, although to be honest, their labels are removable, and I so I don't know how long this is going to stay here. But I knew just by um, looking at the product that something would bug me and let me put this back in the box here so you can see me sealing it back up um, just looking at the package while I love the concept there is one thing that they should add in my opinion A, a numbered bead. Um, this bead right here is blue. Can you tell me what number that is? Uh, this one is a yellow gold color. Can you tell me what number that is? I knew that that would drive me nuts. That every project I'd have to sit there and I'd have to pull everyone out. So, what I did is I took my label maker. Love my label maker. And I put a little label. I did not put MH. I just because this is only MH. I don't, I don't have any Delicates. I have a few, um, it's, a, it's a brand like SJ or something like that. It, I only use it for like one or two projects. So I don't have very many. That's an told us up thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah, that one is missing. I was like, oh, there's one missing. Um, I just put the number so I can look and say, okay, my pattern says I need 0 to 
zero six two. Do I have that one? How many do I have? I can guess. Now these little containers, these containers can definitely hold two packages, regular packages of Millhill beads. And I think one of mine, I actually put three in there, no problem. This is for the size 11 bead. Uh, for the super size packages or the larger beads, I wouldn't say more than one package, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me put this bead thing in here before it drives me nuts. <clears throat> but this is what I did. Now, if you don't have a label maker, this is my number one tip on these things. And there are a few here that are empty because I'm using those beads for a different project, so I took some of my empty containers from my second tray and I stuck it in there as a bookmark, essentially. Let me know, oh, i got to put a bead there when I'm done with it. Um, if you don't have a label maker, I suggest like a file folder label or another kind of label that is not easily removable. That is a major problem I had with one of my bead systems before this one, is I stuck all the little labels on, you know, so I had all the packaging gone, and then all of a sudden all the labels started falling off, and when I'd find them, I'd put them on, and I'd put a piece of scotch tape over it. That didn't work. They, they would fall, and I'm sitting thinking, no, you know, five, five, seven, well, that's gold. I can get that one. One, two, three is um, this cream or ivory, you know, and. 2011, that's an antique gold. I've used those in many, 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 many projects. But some of these other ones, like this kind of citrusy orange, I wouldn't have a clue what the bead number was. So that annoyed me to no end. So I left my beads in my packages. But then Mackenzie showed this, and ugh, this is so nice. Thank you, Mackenzie, for showing this. But for prize number three, you get the box. You don't get mine. You have to put your own goodies in there. But this is prize number three. So, what are the details about the giveaway? Today is November 8th, uh, at least when I'm recording this. Hopefully, the editing process won't take too long to put up on, on uh, Floss Tube. From today, November 8th, till November 30th, I'm going to keep the giveaway open. You can indicate below in the comment using your YouTube name, no other personal information, please. You know, don't worry about your address or anything like that. We'll worry about that offline. Um, as private as anything on the Internet can be, we're not going to put it in a public forum. Uh, and on a side note, never put your phone number online or your address online, unless you're a business. It's a different situation. But um, from November 8th to November 30th, this is going to be open, and partially because people have said they're behind on the videos, and I want to give them a chance, and also because it's Thanksgiving here in the U.S., and we also might have uh, my parents come. My parents live 600 miles away, so they might be coming to visit us for Thanksgiving, and I want to give, I don't want to interrupt our, our time. Um, I love y'all in Flask too, but these are my parents. <laughs> so, in the comment below, say, you know, enter me for prize number one, number three, number two. You can enter for all three prizes, but you can only win one of them. So, I'm going to use random.org probably December 1st or 2nd, Lord willing. Hopefully, no more illness. Um,. And then if you, let's say, you wanted to enter all three, and I draw your name for prize number one, the pattern package, you are not eligible for prize number two and three. I hope that's clear. You can enter every, for all three prizes, that's fine. But when you win a prize, you're done. You're done. Because I want three different winners. Um, I ask that you are a subscriber. And I also ask if you're under the age of 18 that you're, well, even if you're over the age of 18, you are comfortable with me sending you something. I know there are situations where um, you have to be very careful in your address, you know, for security and military, and there's, there's a number of reasons. So this is not a digital prize. This is a, a hands-on prize. So please be aware of that. Um... I haven't quite figured out the 
the digital stuff yet, but for this giveaway, these are the three prizes. So prize number one, you can say prize number one or pattern package. Just cross stitch October 2015, just cross stitch August 2015, lavender and lace, firefly fairies, which is L and L number 48. And Lavender and Lace World Peace Angel number 51. And if you want to look at these patterns, these, these two patterns, closer, their website is tiag.com, toldinagarden.com, tiag.com. And then you can look them up and see the patterns closer. And if I remember correctly, when you, you know, click on a pattern, they usually list what DMCs you need and like this world peace angel you need some petite treasure braids um, actually only three of them and one is a blend and then uh, three mill hill beads the rest is all DMC so you can get that information from the website so that's prize number one the pattern package you could just say prize number one I'll understand what you mean prize number two the Krennic storage. You get both boxes to enjoy. Oh, and they stack really nice. Well, even when they're backwards, they still stack nice. So I have mine stacked. Uh, I have a little knee wall in my closet, and I have them stacked there. They work really nice. And they're also good on moisture, too. Just saying. Prize number three is the tiny container. I'm going to read it backwards, sorry. Tiny container bead storage tray. It'll, it'll be empty, so you won't get any of these beads. you got to put your own little goodies in. But that is prize number three. So, again, from November 8th, 2015 to November 30th, 2015, giveaway is open. Um, I'll close the giveaway. I'll do the drawing and a video of the drawing sometime that first week in December. Lord willing. Again, hopefully avoiding illness. Um... But beyond that, I do plan on doing another whip update video between now and the result video. So there, there should be one in there somewhere, uh, especially with a round robin project that I'll need to mail. So um, I haven't stitched on it at all because of illness. I didn't want to get it out of the packaging. But I thank you so much for subscribing and watching and hearing me waffle on and uh, that's, a, that's what Mrs. Milky Bar Kid says, and I'm trying to think of what other Babylon and just vent a little bit. It's been a long week. I can't even tell. But I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. I love your videos. I've learned so, so, so much. A year ago, if you had asked, I said, oh, yeah, I know everything about cross stitching. I have learned about new designers, new fabrics, new items to store your stuff. Um, new techniques, I, and I just really enjoy this community a lot. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next video. If I don't do a video before Thanksgiving, and you're in the U.S., and I thought Canada did theirs like the day after America does theirs, if you celebrate Thanksgiving this month, have a blessed day. I hope you enjoy your, your time with your family, no matter how many is in your family, and how extended. You may enjoy your celebration. So I will see you uh, in the next video. Bye, YouTube.